The past few months, we've been reporting on several bills inching their way through the state house, addressing a wide variety of topics, including higher education and gender affirming care for minors. If passed, it will be up to the governor to decide if they become law. NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fami went one on one with Governor Mike DeWine to see where he stands on some of those hotly debated issues. Natalie. Jennifer, opponents of those bills call them controversial. Some could rewrite Ohio's constitution. And even though they're not on the governor's desk yet, DeWine tells me he's keeping an eye on all of them. A group of Republicans want to ask Ohioans a question. Should it be more difficult to amend Ohio's constitution? Right now, to do so, a simple majority of Ohioans needs to vote in favor of an amendment. But some lawmakers want to make it 60%. Where do you land on the issue? Do you think it should be 60% or 50 plus 1? Well, I've not taken a position on it. Um, you know, I'll take a look at that. I think there's, you know, probably the best argument in favor of 60 percent is that what we've seen many, many times is groups outside the state of Ohio who come into Ohio, spend millions and millions of dollars uh, to try to engrave something into the Ohio Constitution. Um, there's a good argument I think you can make that that bar needs to be rather high to be able to be able to do that. And to do that, Republican state senators and representatives want to bring back special August elections, something they passed a bill to get rid of just a few months ago. Former Governor Taft, Kasich, they said they're against those. You said you would sign the bill, though, if it made it to your desk. You know, I will sign that. DeWine tells me he wants the issue to be voted on so lawmakers can get back to focusing on other issues that directly impact Ohioans. One of those areas is higher education. A bill that's garnered hundreds of opponents would do things like require certain courses and prohibit universities from mandating diversity, equity, and inclusion training. DeWine tells me while the legislation is a work in progress, there needs to be reform to higher education. I feel very confident that we can get a bill uh, that is a good bill uh, and that the universities can live with, but also brings about some reforms that frankly we need to see in regard to higher education. I asked Governor DeWine about another pair of bills moving through the state house, one to be in gender affirming care for minors and another to be in transgender girls and women from female sports. If those bills do make it to your desk, do you think those are pieces of legislation you would sign? Uh, I've learned uh, a long time ago these bills change all the time and uh, so we're going to see what comes out of the legislature. We're going to look at the bill and make a judgment that time. Do you think having some sort of restriction on transgender girls and women playing on female sports is necessary? Well, again, I'm, I'm going to look at it uh, when the legislature, if and when the legislature gets through with the bill. I also asked Governor Mike DeWine about a bill to lower the minimum age of police officers in the state and about the minimum wage discussion in Ohio. For more on what he says on those topics, you can visit NBC4i.com. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fahmy, NBC4.